Hey, what's up? Today, I'm going to talk about the biggest waste of time you can make in your weight loss journey, mission, whatever the hell you've been calling it. Let's get into it. So as long as you've ruled out a medical condition causing your weight loss. So just a quick disclaimer, always, always, always make sure it's not a medical problem causing your weight gain. If you need help figuring out what it could potentially be, I'm making a series for short videos, reels, TikToks, etc. Medical conditions that could be caught that cause weight gain. And so watch them. If you see, hey, this might be me or something. Again, it's not direct medical advice, of course. Every single one of them is going to direct you to go to the correct doctor, whether it's an OB-GYN, PCP, whatever, to make sure it's not that causing your weight gain. So now that we make sure that's not that a medical condition is not causing your weight gain, here's the biggest mistake I see people make, is that they waste their time going to people who can't fully resolve their weight problem. Okay, now there's different categories within the weight loss sector of fitness. There's different reasons or specialties that people can have. Mine is the food addictions that are caused by like a traumatic event, grief, a major life event, et cetera, et cetera. And pe my, my people have been having problems with runaway weight gain. They can't seem to cope with what's going on in their life. They don't have a healthy coping mechanism and they have either a serious problem with, with a type of food like sugar or junk food, or they have a full out addiction to that type of food going into their body. I've also worked with people that have had other types of substance problems as well. So that's my wheelhouse. You'll also see other specialties out there like 12 months or less postpartum or weight loss for women with PCOS. I'm not an expert in those areas. I'm not a specialist in those areas. So I, I, if somebody comes to me in the DM saying, hey, I have PCOS, I need help losing weight, I immediately refer them to the SMU code. That is the one that I refer to them. And then if it's somebody that needs help correcting their abdominal muscles or repairing them after having a baby, if you're a female, even if you haven't had kids, you know sometimes, oh, pretty much all the time with a C-section, it completely destroys your abdominal muscles. I always refer women, especially who are 12 months or less postpartum, I'm not saying it can't be a little bit further along, I always refer to them to Dr. Kelly. She has a, a she's a specialist in that area. So that's just kind of an idea of just some of the specialties in weight loss and what mine is in particular. So what I see most often is that people are going to generalists for their weight loss when they know they have a specific problem like a food trigger or a food addiction going on or they're gaining weight after a death in the family or something's going on and they're, 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 I particularly work with people who are in like professional industries or they're a business owner and they're really, 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 really good at their area of expertise, like running their business or something like that. And they're, they're really struggling with this other facet of their life. They're going through a divorce. I've worked with people uh, who were going through that and they were binge eating, binge drinking, things of that sort. And they're struggling with that. But as you can see, I'm able to differentiate what my expertise is versus somebody else's. And I also have no problems with referring. So that is a hallmark trait of someone who's a specialist. What do I mean by a generalist? A generalist is somebody who is like your primary care doctor, primary care physician is the correct terminology. And they went to medical school. I'm not saying they didn't, but they have a broad base of knowledge in a bunch of different stuff, right? So what I'm, what that translates to for fitness, especially weight loss, is your standard big bots, nationally accredited like a NASM certified trainer who can train 25 different people in a day. So how well are they really able to effectively solve all those people's problems? Not very well. 
okay? I've no hate to them, but I've met NASM trainers who had problems with a an addiction and they relapsed and they had been a trainer for 10 plus years in a couple different areas, but they themselves failed to realize what their triggers were and failed to eliminate those self-destructive pathways and they did not have a sustainable success strategy. Because as soon as that new event happened in their life that threw them for a loop, they relapsed. I've seen it happen a few times. I've also seen it happen for another commonly misunderstood, I guess, generalized certification that sometimes people are not aware that it's a generalist, is an MS in nutrition. My sister has the rarest autoimmune GI disorders in the world. She's been on a pick line for several years. And in the beginning, she lost an extreme amount of weight. Now, keep in mind, she did not need to lose weight at all. She was already very, very skinny. And she lost an additional 30, 35 pounds because the MS in nutrition on her medical team was giving her too little of a calorie count to help her maintain a weight, much less gain the weight back. So my sister lost a massive amount of weight within six to 12 months. It was not a good deal at all. It was not a good scenario. She was actually really, really close to death. Uh, that's happened a few times uh, with her stuff and that those are different stories for different days. But my point being is that I had to go to my parents and tell them, hey, the MS and nutrition is fucking over my sister's shit. And here's why. And they had my sister on such a low caloric amount, it did not make any logical sense. They There was different ways around it. And lo and behold, they actually could put her on the caloric amount that was necessary for my sister. They were either just incompetent or they just didn't know what else to do for it. But it, my point being, it would have cost my sister's life if I didn't say something. If I didn't notice, hey... I know this from the fitness world, this is bullshit and here's why. But sometimes people will look at those fancy pieces of paper and just automatically ping that person as an expert. Fancy pieces of paper like certifications and degrees are great, but they are not necessarily a qualifier for an expert. Expert is somebody who, who has had their own success solving that specific problem that you're struggling with and they've been able to keep that maintained for at least 10 years and they also may have certifications and degrees and stuff like that but just a single qualifier does not make them eligible to fully resolve your problem 100 percent so if you go to somebody like an mlo coach who has not even lost weight nor maintained it and they're inviting you on their journey Okay, it's like the blind leading the blind. That's just how it is. And you're, 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 you're putting your faith and, well, I'm not necessarily, I'm not like religious, but you know what I mean? You're putting your trust in somebody who has not yet produced a viable result. It's a wild card. It's gambling essentially with your time and your health and your money. And even if you are a six, seven, eight figure business owner, arguably saying you don't want to waste your money um no more no more than you're already going to by chance so it doesn't make any sense to go with them same thing with the i see i've worked with people who have hired multiple big box trainers to solve their problem and they give them a workout plan and they work with them two days a week and there's no brain rewiring there's no uh sustainable meal plan in place there's no mindset shifts there's no any of that there's no social psychodynamics and they have not nailed their problem on the head and they haven't been able to move forward from it so as soon as they stop working with said bid botch trainer they just relapse like i said i i've i've personally seen it happen to nasm trainers who have been a nasm trainer for a very long time and they themselves could not resolve their own problem with a food addiction or another substance problem and as soon as something else happened in their life they just relapsed and they're an asm trainer and you know and they were a top weight fitness class person at their gym and it's not any hate to them i just want to open your eyes to why sometimes people uh, actually a lot of time why people are misled and they and they think they can fully resolve their problem and i'm not saying don't go to fitness classes or don't do that no 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 but if you go to the, a, a fitness class 
that's what they help you with. That's the problem they solve. That's 10 to 20% of your problem. That's not 100% of your problem that needs to be solved. An example in the business world is if you are, let's use another example outside of fitness. If you are a finance coach, like say you worked in corporate, you're now wanting to have your own online business and finance. Um, I'll use Invest Diva Kiana Daniel as an example here. Uh, she came from Wall Street and now she has her Make Your Money Work For You uh, course. I love her. She's an awesome person. But let's say you, she's she, in the beginning phases, she was trying to find help for getting her message out there, getting her program out there. If she hired a business coach, that's a very broad term, right? That's a very broad term. So they could only really help her with 10 to 10 to 20% of her problem. But what about a business strategist, right? So now we're getting more specific. We're not just talking vague concepts here. We're talking a little bit more specific strategy, not just necessarily vague terms like mindset and content and, and messaging. That's so vague. A strategist will be able to give you like a content plan, a content strategy, right? That makes sense for you. So we're getting more specific. Then the next level would be a business strategist for finance experts, okay? So now they can't, they not only can help you resolve the what do I do, how do I transition, et cetera, et cetera. They work with people who have your specific expertise, right? With Kiana's specific expertise. So they can help them in that specific area. They know the language those customers use. They, they, they can help you do your lead magnet and your ads so much more effectively than somebody who's a generalist, right? And now let's get even more specific. So Kiana especially wants to help people who are parents and have them have generational wealth. So the next level would be a business strategist who helps finance experts impact parents and helps them build generational wealth, okay? So that's getting super, super specific, right? So you know from the get-go, who would you hire? It was just say if you were Kiana in this situation, would you hire the generalist or would you hire the specialist? You would hire the specialist, right? Another example of this is like with my sister's problems. She was seeing a pediatrician at the time because she was uh, 16 years old and he misdiagnosed her. Misdiagnosed her. And again, he misdiagnosed her as an anorexic when she was saying a hallmark characteristic of what anorexics do not say. They do not say, I want to eat. My sister was saying over and over again, I want to eat, but it's painful. So a year was wasted. My sister came within two weeks of death. And then finally, a specialist in Richmond who was a PA diagnosed my sister. And then even from then on, she now sees the people who invented the gastric and spinal pacemakers. My sister does not see a generalist because a generalist would not know what to do with my sister to solve her very, very specific problem, right? And her life was on the line. So when you have the very, very specific problem of the food addiction and, and, and you're consumed with grief or, or trauma or stress or something, something traumatic has happened in your life, right? My situation was my grandpa got diagnosed with stage four cancer when I was five and I became a sugar and a junk food addict at five, at five years old. I had puberty at six. I was wearing like women's and men's clothing when I was in primary school and I, I had constant health problems. I, I talk about it so much in my content that it's kind of just, <laughs> it kind of just comes like super easily to me now when, when, I, when I'm explaining it on a video. But I just want you to see that if I had not formed my own success strategy and I had not rewired my brain in 2008, when my sister started getting sick and then finally her diagnosis between 2012 and 2013, I would have relapsed. I would have been just like that NASM trainer I described to you who I actually, I actually saw this happen to somebody and who had the quote, like what is heralded as like the one like certification to help people in the fitness world. I saw it happen to somebody 
in real time and 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 it, and it was such a hard thing to see especially for somebody who did who chose actively to not receive help they would not receive help from me on the matter they would not receive help from somebody else it was a very difficult thing to see but if i had not rewired my brain and had those habits in place that ran like a well-oiled engine I would have relapsed when my sister got sick. That was a that that threw my family for a loop. It was crazy. It was insane, right? So I just want you to see the bigger picture here. There might be things that come up in your life. Life is hard. It's hard for everybody. And that doesn't necessarily dismiss what you've been through. But I want you to see that if you continue to waste your time with people who cannot resolve 100% of your problem and actually get you on that path where you can handle your life shit. You can go through it and handle it like, like, like a, a complete boss and not have to worry about relapsing with junk food or sugar or, or, or not staying consistent with your workouts and everything like that. And from my sister's example, like both of our lives were on the line in our respective deals, scenarios. Both of our lives were on the line in our respective timelines. So it's not necessarily a matter of like, oh, like everybody's going to die. But if you're, if you have a business that you're passionate about, if you are any sort of professional industry and you're so passionate about what you do and you got big dreams and big goals and everything, why would you sabotage that? Why would you purposely and intentionally sabotage yourself and in turn sabotage that and, and, and have it cut too short? It doesn't make sense, right? So if this year you have completely put your health and fitness on the back burner because you've been putting your business or your career first, I highly encourage you, send me a message. Let me know you're interested in the diet killer plan. We'll have a complete no pressure conversation in the DMs on Instagram at Ashley Korf. I will put that in the description of this video. No pressure on you. I want to make sure you're a good fit for the program. It is, like I said, for a specific type of person. I want to make sure you you are the type of person for it. Number one. And number two, I want to be able to help you move forward quickly. Like to, as the day or the next day that we start that conversation. So you don't waste time. And you don't waste any more of your time on average people when they come to work with me. They have already spent five thousand to twenty five thousand dollars on other other people co generalist coaches random ass shit and, and they've already put so much time money and energy into it i i can resolve your problem you have to be willing to take the initiative to say raise your hands that i need your help or i'm interested in having you help me work through this and be able to get to that other side if that is you, send me a message like, hey, I'm interested in Diet Killer Plan. That is my signature program where I help people through my seven phase winning weight loss methodology. It, it is has worked for me. I'm the living testimony. Uh, I, I'm going on my 15th year of keeping all the weight off without it being a pain in the ass or resorting to crazy shit. And every other aspect of my life has just flourished. I've thrived since ha having that lifestyle change. And I want that for you, but you gotta want it for yourself. My clients have been doing amazing and I want to see that happen for you. But again, I can't, I can't force you into wanting to help yourself. So as long as that is in place, send me a message on Instagram. Say, hey, I'm interested in the diet killer plan or hey, I'm interested in working with you. That's just so I know you're not spam and we can move forward with a no pressure conversation to see and make sure if you are a good fit. I will catch you later and I hope to read your message later on sometime today or tomorrow. Take care.